So here we start. Uh, we have uh, the opponent sitting up. He has the right leg in the front, and he's going to keep the distance by checking the head with his right hand. And as he does, he's going to favor uh, circling to the left. He's going to block. See, he's going to make sure that there's no reach for the single leg. He circles around, and as he makes contact, he's going to control the head in a different way. Now he's going to slide the hand slightly behind. That way, the partner cannot... Uh, and he controls the collar. Look how he changes the, head, the hand position. He can't pull the head back. By right now he's stuck. And then as he gets the collar, he approaches the shoulder behind the neck and feeds the hand. Now he grabs the leg and circles to the left with the head sunk under the guy's armpit. At that point, he has the bow and arrow finish, pulling the head and the collar at the same time. Or if he wants, he can also choose to trap the arm, place the hand behind the head, and as he faces the ground, the choke takes place. Going back again, same thing, keep the distance, change the grip, feed the collar, sink the head under the armpit with the leg control. Look how he's going to position the head. <clears throat> and as he circles and flats his back on the ground, he has the bow and arrow finish, or he traps the arm and slides under the, the head right there. 